Hey, welcome back. G-Man here. Uh, once again, My World 67. And today, I uh, thought I might share with you another tower. This is a uh, floodlight tower. Mark's floodlight tower. Uh, and actually, this is a Mark's K-Line floodlight tower. Uh, this is the, the newer one that was actually built by K-Line. And it's a older K-Line tower. Uh, and as you can see, I've got it sitting on there. But all of this is loose. been one of the little tabs has been broken off I've already uh, drilled a hole down in there and placed in there a, a this is actually a nail that I'm using for a pin um, and that's the probably one of the easiest ways to replace those um, a lot of guys think or say that they can't be replaced. Well, they, the plastic itself can't actually be replaced. You can take another piece of plastic uh, and uh, get a, get your piece of Constructs plastic square and put on there and make it work. Or you can sometimes you can cut this down like I did on the uh, water tower and cut it down and reshaped it. Uh, to that shape so that it'll work but the easiest way when you can is just to drill you a little small hole down in to the stanchion and put you a pin in it other than that this tower is actually in pretty decent shape uh, we have one railing that was broke right here, and I re-glued it. And it looks like it slipped in the, while it was drying, so, yeah, there's no big deal. There's a little reality imperfection there. And the one thing that I... Um, had found on this um, that it was missing one of these rings. Now these rings are supposed to have a plastic insert and these screw on like the lens on a flashlight and go over the end of this. Now fortunately um, and I haven't done it yet but a lot of times you can go to the dollar store and you can find a smaller rimmed flashlight, approximately the same size. You can take the rim and the lens off of that $1 flashlight and replace these. And um, have something that will work that, that looks nice and very resembles uh, what originally goes on there. Now... Uh, another thing you can do is just cut you some uh, circles out of clear plastic and just glue them on the face here. The only problem with that is is that when you the bulb goes out again and you need to change it, you got to tear that back off. Uh, I guess you could just tack it in place, but it kind of looks kind of tacky, so that might not be something you want to do uh, like that. But um, as we look at this, uh, we see that once it's together, it's going to be a uh, really nice, nice piece. So it doesn't take a lot of work, it just takes a few minutes. And so let's get started on it and go ahead and get it together. And I uh, just wanted to do a little quick short video, uh, repair video, so that you can see what it takes to do this. Hold on just a second. 
Okay, let's get started. Now I've got the uh, camera on the stand and it's tilted back so at an angle so that you can actually see the, the upper part of this as I can't get the uh, camera actually up any higher at, at this time and uh, give you a, a different view. Um, but okay, we've already put the pin in and we've got the pin in here. This is the same type of ladder that we put on the water tower that was on the old beacon tower. And um, K line pretty much kept everything. Uh, the, the way Marks had done it, they, they made a few changes, of course, in practicality of the things that they used. Uh, some of the things they used to reconstruct it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is this area right here, where the pin is. We're going to put on that area some contact seam in. Now we're going to be liberal with it. We don't want it to run down the stanchion and all over the side of uh, the tower. But we do want to be liberal with it. Uh, because we want to fill in that whole hole once it's on there. Okay, on these other areas here, we're going to use this modeling cement, testers, modeling cement. And we got to get hold of this pipe. Stand pipe, get it back in position, push this down, inside the tube itself, oh, get ahead of myself here, let's put the ladder in. Now, let's go up and put this inside the tube. Turn it around here so I can see better. Okay. coming out of the ladder. Okay. Put it inside the tube. Match up the holes. And once that dries, it's going to be just like new. Now this back here, we can re-break it or we 
you just take a pair of pliers, squeeze it together, make sure they're centered, squeeze it together, keep in mind that this glue is not completely set. That's why I'm able to do that. It hasn't been sitting for two or three days. It's just been sitting for about 30 minutes. The good thing about the tester cement and the plastic, it melds the plastic together. And so until it's completely dry, there's usually a little flexibility in it. Now in 30 minutes or less, this will be ready uh, to go back on the layout as far as the repairs are concerned. Now, back to uh, these lights. As I said, I was going to check in to the Dollar Trees uh, or the dollar stores rather and see if I could find a light uh, a couple of flashlights that size if not we're just going to go ahead and put the bulbs in it cut circulars uh, out of the uh, clear plastic and just place them inside the inside diameter here. Also, something else that might work is a pipe fitting. They make certain pipe fittings like they go on your sink and things. They make them smaller too in this size or pretty close that might be able to work um, there's a number of things we could do um, but today we just wanted to show how to put that back together how to make that one little repair with the pin and how easily this can be put back together uh, and restored. I'm going to, uh, as I said, check in to those lenses, look at some other possibilities. And uh, as soon as I get that done, I'll come back and we'll do another video. Okay, that's all I have for you today, or for this video. And uh, as always... Thanks for watching, and happy rails to you. Goodbye.